Okay guys, now please come back to questions 21, 22 and 23. Question number 21, Colin Megan. Please now find Colin Megan in the passage. Colin Megan in the passage. First paragraph, well done. So underline the word Colin Megan. Or you can encircle. <coughs> Got it? Now please underline and encircle the word Marvin Minsky. Marvin Minsky. Where is Marvin Minsky? Paragraph D. MIT Marvin Minsky. Please underline that. Your job will be easier. Got it? Paragraph D and 7th, 8th last line. MIT's Marvin Minsky summarizes. Got it? Okay. Uh, the third name is Hans uh, Moravik. Now please underline Hans Moravik. Paragraph F, right side right side column sorry paragraph e right side column third line computer expert hans moravik now see by doing this you have located three portions where there is the answer now look here whenever you have matching the statements with the names most of the time the statements are given in the passage in inverted commas most of the time you will see inverted commas around a statement so those inverted comma statements will be actually joined let's do one of these together can you see colin megan yes. paragraph a everyone please follow me colin megan i'm reading from there paragraph a fifth sixth last line colin megan of uh, rutgers university backs this up when he says now the words like he says or inverted commas or he argues right he says that artificial intelligence is like sheep trying to do complicated psycho uh, psychoanalysis. They just don't have the conceptual equipment they need in their limited brains. Can you see inverted comma? Yes. See that it starts from there. Is like sheep trying to do complicated psychoanalysis. They just don't have the conceptual equipment they need in their limited brains. Now go back and tell me which option is going to match with it just read them all don't tell me the answer unless i ask you Just quiet when I ask you, then tell me. Okay, what's the right answer? It's not A, it's not B, it's not C, it's actually D for doctor. Now I tell you why. Please come to option D. People have intellectual capacities which do not exist in computers right now let's go back please come back it's like sheep trying to do complicated psychoanalysis artificial intelligence is like sheep trying to do complicated psychoanalysis they just don't have the conceptual equipment they means computers don't have the conceptual uh, equipment they need in their limited brains. Now they're talking about sheep actually. So option D, people have intellectual capability, but actually he's giving the example of sheep. Like they don't have something and they are trying to work like human. That means what sheep don't have, human beings have. So people have intellectual capabilities which do not exist in computers. And by the way, for computers, he used the word sheep. Okay, so option D will go there. Now, question number 22. Marvin Minsky, where is he? Marvin Minsky. Paragraph? Paragraph D, MIT Marvin Minsky. Now, please, let's read it together. <coughs> 
MIT is paragraph D for doctor, last six, seven lines. MIT's Marvin Minsky summarizes the problem of AI. The history of AI is sort of funny because the first real accomplishments, <coughs> now these are his words. Can you see inverted comma? Yes. All right. The history of AI is sort of funny because of the first real accomplishments were beautiful things like a machine that could do well in a maths course but then we st started to try to make machines that could answer questions about simple children's stories. There's no machine today that can do that. Now, please come back and see if there is any option that it matches. Story means fiction. Try to understand. Huh? Story means fiction. Which option? C. C. Exactly. Listen. I prove it to you why C is the right answer. Let's read option C. Tests involving fiction have defeated artificial intelligence so far. Please come back. Okay. Now they use the word here, but then we started to try to make machines that could answer questions about simple children's stories. There is no machine today that can do that, right? So fiction is the part of literature where we tell the stories. So that's what they say. When we started to try to make machines that could answer questions about simple children's story, there is no machine today that can do that. What is the option? Tests means when we tried, that means tests. Involving fiction have defeated artificial intelligence. For artificial intelligence, they use the word machines. For defeated, what is the word? Can, uh, all right, there are no machines today that can do that. No means defeated, right? So option C is the right answer for 22. Question number 23. Now please go to that. Uh, it's the right side column. And the word computer expert Hans. Everyone there? Okay, now let's read this. Computer expert Hans Morovic thinks that in the future, robots will be programmed with emotions such as fear to protect themselves so that they can signal to humans when their batteries are running low, for example. Now, emotions. Main word is emotions. Please come back. For emotions, they always use the word feelings. <laughs> In IELTS, I've noticed many times, whenever they use the word emotion, they use the word feelings. So artificial intelligence may require something equivalent to feelings in order to succeed. That is option A. What do they say? They say robots will be programmed with emotions such as fear to protect themselves. Right? So fear is the emotion. And then they move on. Right. Thank you.